Hey guys, Gunshy Mori here with another video, and today we are going to be go, going and getting Explorer Notes. So, if we could just quickly, I had the wrong one up. So, if you got a dire wolf here and you hit the C button on keyboard, he will sniff out Explorer Notes like this. And then if I just drop down like so, boom, he's got it. Now, a couple of these Explorer notes uh, will make noise now, or will play audio, or story, otherwise, I guess is what it is. So, yeah. But anyways, we're starting down here on the bottom of the map looking for Explorer notes. So this hopefully shouldn't take too long. I think there's another one up over here, yep. So... I did breed up these direwolves, they were pretty easy to get. Uh, I will show you his stats here in a second, or her stats actually. From afar, it's hard to and this is what I meant by audio. If you guys just want to listen here for a second. 45, 42, 43. So yeah, awesome. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can pause this. And uh, if you guys actually want to go listen to this stuff, you guys can go get it yourselves. Alright, so we're looking for a third one here. I'm planning on clearing Rockwell Island here before we go and uh, start moving on to other stuff. So we're going to get the bunch that's on this island. There's a lot on this island, I ain't going to lie. Um, I'm surprised we're not picking any up. Are they all like over here somewhere? Oh! Okay. Um... Okay, I need to go find where I left Dez because I just realized I forgot him. I brought three dinos with me for this and I forgot one of them as soon as I got here. Uh oh, there he is, I see him. I forgot about Dez. Oh no! I should be good though. Can't forget about Tim Tracker. I feel like I spelled that wrong. Like, very, very wrong. Like, it's off. I feel like it's off. Oh, I could have sworn it said that there was one up here, right? Oh, there it is. Utah Raptor Prime is an incredibly... Here we got Utah Raptor. ...species of Utah Raptor found on the island. It tends to travel in small hunting packs. Attacking smaller prey. It takes a minute for it to stop once you've, like, uh, what is it? Exited that, so. Do keep that in mind. So it will stop eventually. Okay, there's one more out this way. Gonna be a Rockwell one, right? Oh, I was ever so glad to see yep. Miss Walker again. My assistants are clever in their own right, but dear Helena is still the only person. Okay, we got two up this way. We got two up at the mansion. I fear that I may have kept her from getting a word in edgewise, though. Once I got going on the obelisks, why I just couldn't contain my enthusiasm. My word, I really have become quite enamored with the subject, haven't I? Well. That's settled. I am perplexed. Even with an expanded number of test subjects, I just oh can't no! Find the That's a big ass lava source. I truly thought that my recent adventure had lit a fire in my belly, but I there you are. find myself losing focus. Okay, so this is confound it all. Perhaps Minerva? the adventure itself is the problem. Thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. I am always and eager to discuss not the, voiced yet. the artifacts I found with my assistants. Oh, well, those won't be voiced. Unless you go get Ned, Ned the Noodles one with the voices. I feel like it's actually better. Because, like, they will actually stop talking. I might go get it, just so that way we have all the Explorer notes. 
The wondrous okay. properties of the floor. Right. Now the there's a dossier system. around here somewhere. If I told my colleagues in London that I could create a concoction capable of erasing someone's memories, oh no! Laughed out of the room, never invited to we hit a tree. Yet here, it sits. here we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that would be all of them on Rockwell Island. There is six dossiers and three explorer notes near the red obelisk, it looks like. And then there is three in the water near this general area. So, okay. Oh no! What is that? Oh, <laughs> you're just a titanosaur. That actually scared me. I think, yeah, you're the level 70 I was looking at yet earlier. You had the yellow on your back. Oh, it looked really good. I already got two 150s tame, and I'm never taming a. Uh, what is it? A titanosaur. Well, until. I'm not taming a titanosaur until I actually have to. Oh no. No. I forgot Sarko's. Despite its large size and the fact that it may well be strong enough to carry heavy loads, Lead Sickness does not appear to be intelligent enough to tame. Nevertheless, some large. That's actually changed. We can actually go tame that in this mod. With the mod. We have no untamables, so. We actually have to go tame a Lead Sickness at some point. Um, I think it's down more. I think we got two more that are down this way. I'm correct. Yeah. Should be the first one. Boom. I think this is... What is this one? Kentros. I've never actually tamed a Kentro. So, I, well, we, I hope we can actually tame that soon. I got beer brewing right now. Uh, I will show you guys that here in a little bit. But I got beer brewing now at the house, so that way we can go move on and get the guys we need. So we'll be moving out of seas to these. And I removed Animals of Atlas. I figured that was a little too much. But we kept... Uh, what are they? We kept the sunken world. Got it lifted to Pluridon. I've yet to directly encounter one myself. But from the tales other tribes have shared, it compares to no other on the Oh, we actually got a little bit further down with us. Has magical properties. However, the sightings are so rare, right. it's hard to decipher old tribes' tales. This the underlying is... Tribes. They say that Leo Pluridon is an elusive creature that can harness its magical powers. Got it. Brutalis is a solitary hunter. Generally okay, so now we got to go back. Alrighty, here is the next one. This is a dossier. Packy. Okay. Now if we head down... Where is the river going? Alright, we need to go this way. We follow the river. Towards that alpha raptor. Shit. Its massive nasal boss releases a chemical into the air that calms other nearby creatures. Okay, we need to do Making something drastic. Affected creatures are sometimes hungry enough to ignore the Should have gone with some melee. Humans seem immune to it. Conversely, it can seemingly invert this phenomenon at will and coerce creatures into attacking them. Pachyrhinosaurus is an excellent starting mount for anyone new to taming. It is fairly easy to train can carry enough to be a simple pack animal and is oh it's right there okay some of the larger herbivores additionally megatherium formipeva is one of the larger mammals on the island this is most shocking because it okay, is okay so it's a giant somewhere in this general way an elephant and a bear because of its size and girth the megatherium is uncommonly and resistant to here is the last dossier and there should just be three explorer notes but one of them like way up over here Okay, let me explain to you guys something here before I go any further. On the map, right, uh, you see that line right there, right above me? I'm not going above this, the 70 line as I gather stuff. Well, technically I am. I'm not going to go above the 60 line 
here, but I'm going to follow the river. So everything like below the river there, I'm pointing at my screen like an idiot, like you guys can see it, but like you understand. You see like the river where my character's pointing, that river going up below the redwoods, and once it like curves up here and towards up and hits the 60, then over. So once the like that river there curves up, I'm getting all the ones down below that today. So it's going to be quite a bit of a long episode. Oh, there's just a straight up Carno. Do they have like a charge attack now? There's like, there's supposed to be a node around here somewhere. I don't feel like it's in the swamp, but it might be in the swamp. Where's my map? Okay. Let's go up a bit this way. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Um. Let me... Let, hold up. Uh, what are your GPS coordinates? 69, 24. Now I can probably smell and find it. There it is. I was way off. Yeah, this one was like way out here. Okay. Now back. These one, other two are closer the upon our to the Red Obelisk. Conversations with the witless, savage so. Alrighty, here's the next one. This one is up here. As you can see, we're kind of lit up now by the Red Obelisk. We're a lot closer. And there we go. We got a achievement. You know what I might do? Just because I like it more when I tried it. Um, I'm sorry, Wildcard. I might add in Ned the Noodles mod. <laughs> Just, or, yeah. I even already talked to him about that. You can use it, like, without getting copyright checked. He even said, it. it's open game. If anything, he's the one that's going to get backlash for it. <laughs> that was actually his own words. So. Let's go. In. There it is. This should be the last one up here by the Red Obelisk. We're going to get all the ones in the water last. So, that shouldn't be too hard. A lot of them in under, are in underwater caves. That's just why. They're going to be easier. So, yeah. Alright. We're going to gamma up here because it has been night now. It's like full night now. Um, and I'm gonna go, we're gonna just go over there to start heading that way. So, yeah. I don't understand it. Like, on the map here, like you hold in here, there's a lake there in the middle, but there's no lake. So, they need to fix the map, but they ain't. Ever. Ever. So, I hope someone would make a mod that fix it. Alrighty, so we're coming up here on another... Explorer note, I believe. This should be a Helena one. Yep. And here is the GPS coordinates for you guys. I'm going to start doing that. Sorry I missed out on the couple first ones, but those ones are pretty easy to find. And are pretty well-known ones, because they're on beaches. So, yeah. And here is our next one. With GPS coordinates. I don't know what this one is. This is probably a dossier. Yeah, this is a dossier. Okay. Okay. Here's the next one. The results can be terrifying. With enough room to charge, it can even skewer the And then these next two are in the, the swamp. The broth of enlightenment trials have concluded. So, I gotta and run over here into the swamp a bit. disappointed in the results. 
I actually think these are both the Explorer notes I'm looking for. So, here's the first one. Oh no! <laughs> oh, thank God there was a rock. Here is a Helena note. No, this is a dossier. Ah! Run! Interesting adaptations of any Wait, don't run blindly. Figure out where you're going. It has a signature crest on its head. Okay. Very docile at and first. I've been able to approach Ooh. the creature without disturbing it. Did we get it? Startled, however. Well, yep. I think I've gotten as far okay. in my studies as There's where that one was. I think I showed you guys where that one is. Alright. Now the next ones that we have to go to are like They're over there down by like what is it? The la longitude, they're over in fifty. Like in the 4050 area. The origins of this little so, I gotta go. Spelunking. Oh man, I'm having some PTSD. This is where we fought the Dodo Rex. I remember like going back through here, looking through uh, bags and stuff, just trying to find it all. Been looking for this Explorer note for a while. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, I can gamma down now. That's how... <clears throat> Sorry, I had stuff in my throat. That's how long I've been looking. Oh my god. Thank you. I'm not entirely sure. There he is. Yay! Now, the next one's like somewhere out it this way. It's surprisingly slow for its size and is a solitary predator. So no pack to back it up. What do you mean slow? Oh! is the only thing that allows this very aggressive medium-sized predator to thrive. The cause of Therizinosaurus is some of the most versatile biological tools I've encountered. As adept at removing trees and foliage from okay, Therizinosaurus um... Park, as they are at piercing the thick shells and hide of the island's most defensive creatures if backed into a fight. A tamed Therizinosaurus is one of the most versatile mounts a survivor can have. It oh, there it is. It can be trained to use its claws brutally or delicately. Allowing the rider to primarily harvest with enhanced efficiency Here's another dossier resources that he or she needs. And the much larger ancestor of oh, damn rapper. Oh, it's level 100. Pelagonis Myosinus shares many traits with its modern day brethren. We can outrun you, we can outrun you, we can outrun you, we can outrun you, we can outrun you. Hunting for fish over the open deep sea. In fact, I have rarely spotted a wild Pelagonis. We're running somewhat blindly here, though. Of the main island. As it prefers to rest its wings I think I know where this next explorer system. note is, though. It should Rather be at the top of this hill. The island's beaches. Perhaps its behavior is a result of its survival instincts. The early Miocene was a yep. post-dinosaur epic, after all. And That's a lot of trodons. Let's not make a mess. Considering how quickly it flees from humans, one can hardly blame its caution. Because of I its think that's one I already had. Walk ...and surface swim. A tamed Pelagornis is one of the island's most versatile mounts. But this comes at a cost. The same webbed feet that allow Pelagornis to serenely maneuver along the ocean's surface prevent it from carrying prey off the ground, which may limit its appeal to some survivors. The next one should be here shortly. Let me look. I forgot I hit that. It's somewhere around here. It's not far. This, is this in a cave? No. This is like Rockwell Note 28, so there it is. That's what that's what the wolf is good for. It just pops up. Okay, so I had barely any time oh, here, I just grabbed it. The Ooh, there it is by this again. tree. This time to that cave Ms. Walker mentioned. I wonder there you go. does he believe that she knows more about the obelisk um, than I no. Any fool Should be a could dossier see that over I am on this a side. Scientist. Besides I am his official advisor while oh, she yeah. is his prisoner. She ah. isn't even privy to my presence. Oop, hit that. 
I feel compelled to prove my we'll get this. Oh. Whatever is in that cave, I shall be the one to discover its purpose. The mysteries of the obelisks are mine Hold to uncover. Let's hit C. We Ms. should be close enough Mr. now. Nervous. Mine. Get some melee in him. Or her. I keep on forgetting it's a her. I always do that. Okay. Um. Oh. There it is. This should be a dossier. So we're going to get Helena. Oh. Or Helena. Helena's the robot. I don't. I didn't bring that with me. Well, good thing we're not getting into the cave ones today. We're gonna ignore those ones. So. That said, it is not Got one more down this way. A good tactic for escaping many predators is to jump into the water, as most are slow swimmers. This is a bad tactic for escaping a sarcosuchus, obviously. As they are actually faster in the water than they are on land. Whether in land or water, it utilizes a well rounded arsenal of attacks to display its prowess as a whole carnival All right. droppings and Got I the next one. And I can't say they provided many answers. Um oh yeah, GPS. In this region have very similar diets. With so many you know what, I'm gonna just stop doing the GPS. I'm gonna just start getting my notes. I need them. Yet I found nothing um, that any okay. population shift is actually happening. It's just bizarre. Let's figure this out. Longer I'm here. And here's another dossier. Got it. Fiomia Ignatus is a number of the Fiomia? Okay. You know, all these next ones are down like by a cave. I don't know if they're in the cave or not. And here's the next one. It's a Rockwell note. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've decided to take a brief vacation from the laboratory. Uh oh. Well, I say that I the neck, our next three here are like all right next to visible. each other, like right on top of each other. The three she dossiers are down here. Lately, suggested that I take a bit of time to myself oh. before rushing headlong into my next experiment. Such an observant young woman, that Isabel. She's somewhat lacking as a chemist, but she understands my moods almost better than I do. I say that an old-fashioned adventure will do me some good. Nothing like some rigorous recreation to clear the mind. Perhaps okay, I'll here go is spelunking. Yeah, that dossier. Fairly unremarkable by the Over to salmon. On Corinchus glexlamia is a generally passive fish. Its main form of protection is swimming in a large school. On Corinchus does not like conflict and generally swims with Deodon comedentis is the largest right, we got like one more, I believe. of Entelodon, an omnivorous family of ancient mammals that are sometimes referred to as helpers. Even though Deodon has as many similarities to modern... Hold up, what's that? Ooh, hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. Almost exited out of the map I had for the dossiers. Okay, um... What it, it what happened here is that the day of dawn here is, is the far one. We got the one in the middle first, so there should be another one down this way. That one, there it is. It has little qualms when it comes to its diet, and that has helped it. Ammonite, right? All right, ammonite. Ammonite. Okay. Um, and then there's like three here. Let me double check. So it's. It must Leech. be something beneficial for them, since yeah. every nearby sea creature defends Amanitina Capro. when it is attacked. What this distinct symbiosis yeah, is based 12. on. Leech Capro, Helena 12. Capro, Helena 12. Leech Capro, Helena 12. Amanitina has also made its way into the deeper parts of many underwater caves. We gotta have caves. the leech. Even yep, leech. Caves, the creature will draw Capro, Capro. Assaulted, right? Making harvesting its resource-rich shell a tricky proposition, depending on what other dangers... Now still has enough utility to be a valuable hunting target. If a tribe is willing to risk the wrath of nearby would-be protectors, Ammonitina bile can be harvested from the innards of its corpse. This bile can then be worked over with other chemicals to produce powerful concoctions, 
the most notable being a mixture that causes creatures to become enraged and attack the source of the scent. Huh. I don't- I thought I- apparently I missed the Capro while I was in there. Yeah. No Capro. Um... What is this one, though? Genesis Chronicles 3. Mm. Uh, let's just take these all down for a second. Oh, that's the Island Prologue. Um, I think it's this one we're looking for. Yep. Genesis Chronicles 3. I, can remember I didn't want to open that. For the first time I didn't want to open you. Damn it. Got the one bites the dust. Here we go. This remarkable. is a Rockwell. Absolutely remarkable. When I chose that remote northern cave as the site of my spectacular spelunking I think there's surgery, another one, like, I way over this way. Here is another dossier. We're starting to get near a cave, so I'm, like, having to check on the map. Make sure the ones I'm looking for are... aren't in a cave. Although, hold up. Let me... Let me see if I got all the ones. Lytro... Mammoth. Lytro Mammoth. Note 11. Okay. So it's... What did I say? Mammoth. Lystro in Note 11. Deep oceans and has a strange role in the oceanic food chain. It almost exclusively hunts the smaller creatures yeah. in the waters, leaving most even moderately large creatures alone. The sheer size of the Elasmosaurus means that the quantity of food it must eat to sustain Yeah, we haven't gotten that cave yet. That's one that needs to be put on the list. Elasmosaurus is a formidable fighter. Aside from the Megalodon, I have only ever seen two creatures bring down an Elasmosaurus, a Mosasaurus and human beings. Though I will admit, I have yet to thoroughly explore the staggeringly deep underwater caverns surrounding the island. Much like the Brontosaurus on land, Elasmosaurus is an excellent way to transport large quantities of goods over water. These powerful creatures are in fact so large that they can be used as mobile water bases. Ambitious tribes sometimes build bunkers right onto the backs of Elasmosaurus instead of building cargo ships. Ooh, these are all in the swamp. I don't want to have to deal with this. They're all going to be in here. You're going to get leeches. I need to heal you up a bit. There's a Capro chasing me. Thank you. Okay, run, run, run. We can get it. We can get it. We got this. We got this. We got this. I'm waiting for to like just see that Capro come like launching at me. The big Dilophosaurus. Speaking from experience, this is not a pleasant task. Okay. As the untamable Apis drones are quite territorial. I, I think that was Nerva 13. We got 29 over here somewhere. Apis stings will significantly weaken there it is. any creature which suffers them. And because it's still gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, yeah. Apis sting multiple times without its stinger being ripped away. Okay. A tamed Apis queen will lay new drone eggs and construct a da, 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 da. All right, let's head this way. So long as they remember the quest. Oh, there should be another one this way. Both the ways. And we got one of the question mark ones now. There we go. Thank you. 
Okay, cool. That's all I needed. Uh, alrighty. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Go, 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 go! Go! Why won't you run? <laughs> oh no! That was so close. I pissed off all those mammoths. Alright, we got another one over here. Yes. Alright, this should be uh, that one. And then we got one more way, 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 way up this way. Right? And its distinctive yeah. cries can be heard echoing over oh, this one should stand out. As you might expect from a seagull, Ichthyornis will flee at the slightest provocation. Ichthyornis is a versatile and opportunistic hunter. Its primary form of attack is to dive into the top layers of water and impale its prey. However, since its food source can be unpredictable, Ichthyornis has developed a keen ability... Oh, there it is. I paused, like, right as I spotted it. I legit bailed right as he hit. Jeez. Good job, dude. Trying not to hurt your creatures. Yeah, I can't, I've hurt this dude so much. I'm sorry about it. I've legit abused him, and I'm sorry. I just keep on riding him off a cliff. And it's, like, messed up. Like, you would have thought right now, by now I would have learned. What is in this drop? Oh, we're good. Oh! 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 What was that? Oh, there's a Bronto back there. Oh my god. That scared me. I am so low on health. It's not funny. I rode him off another cliff. I did not mean to. I, like, even just went on that whole big thing about, like, running him off cliffs and stuff. And then I ran him off a cliff. Alright, another one way over here. Then I'm pretty sure this is gonna be it for what's on this side of this little, little island here made by the rivers. So now if I run over here to this side, this is how I keep on killing him. I keep on trying to run over a mountain. Okay. Okay, should be another note around here somewhere. Mayin has even integrated a herd of herbivores into her army. Ah, there it is. Hides have proven resistant to fire and explosives. Yet despite being surrounded by I admit I have been rather coy with Mr. Nerva when it comes to the nature of I got two dossiers down the way. Another one. This one I think is a Rockwell, right? Another Rockwell. How can these tribal leaders be so okay. short-sighted? Yes, the members of their respective tribes okay, have volunteered have two for my battle. Tartar and shadow stake sorter experiments have been experiencing prolonged withdrawal episodes. But can't they see that the benefits outweigh the costs? I create mixtures go this way. <laughs> bring out superhuman Four, strength, 360. speed, and coordination for ordinary men. And they can only focus on the negatives. Simple-minded, a lot of them. They even banned their members from partaking in my experiments now. Ridiculous. I'll not let them stand in the way of human progress. They may not understand the importance of my work, but surely my assistants do. Oh, there it is. Alright, so we got this one. Then there should be another dossier somewhere nearby. I don't know if it's in smelling range, though. Among the bottom of the island's oh, nope. Is a Was not. It is content to spend this should be within its smelling range, though. If I... Yep. Far more food than you might reasonably this should be the last dossier, and then I'll go hop they over that river. And we'll start getting that stuff. I'm not sure why. But we'll save the again what I said, the water stuff for last. And then I guess we'll come back for those three caves in the next episode. The three caves that are down in this lower section. We'll get all the water caves though this episode. 
Oh no, I fell off a cliff right next to a spy note, like a Chad. Let's get the fuck out of here before I die. I'm going to so lose this wolf. It has zero imprint as well. I just got it off the parents. Oh. It's legit just a clone. Well, yeah, what I would consider a copy of the parents. Uh, 30, 73, 74. Six, 73, 74, 73, 74. Oh, it's up in this way. It's in the trees. This should be the Ovis dossier. Might be a ways in here. 73, 74. Was that correct? You should be seeing stuff. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, I had it backwards, but yeah. That was the right one. Um, the next couple are all like right next to each other. Ovis Arkham is quite different from the modern domesticated sheep, and even from wild sheep species such as Ovis orientalis. Should be like a the bunch. Markings on its face give it a yep. striking appearance, and the male's horns possess a unique shape that is unlike any other this should species be 39. in the genus. As one might expect, o after much deliberation, I have decided to accept Mr. Nerva's offer. True. The new legion is not beloved by many other tribes, but was Charlemagne beloved by his enemies? If my studies are to continue, I must be on the right side of history. As part of our agreement, I will need to travel with Mr. Another one. for a time and wait to study the obelisks until the new legion has taken care of some smaller matters of fog. I am absolutely astonished, shocked, flabbergasted. Why in the world was Miss Walker investigating the obelisks at the side of such a savage woman okay. and without notifying me first? Was she intending to discover their secrets behind my back and keep them all to herself? Here's another no. one. The audacity. I think these are a lot of Rockwell After ones over I here. Treated her with such no, here's a Helena. Well, unfortunately. Helena, you're a dipstick. Going through my notes, that trike, honest to God, startled me. By Did not expect to That's see him the there. Of how any ecosystem is supposed to work. I can't believe it took a Tyrannosaurus frolicking through. There's nothing special about the diet of these tame creatures when compared okay. to their wild counterparts. Part of that is the Beast Queen's doing, as she takes them on regular hunting excursions for training purposes. Curiously, they never have to range too far. There is an abundance of Gossier, snail. There should be three. Is a very slow, Gossier is over here. Ah, let me exit. Why can't I exit? It might be the simplest creature on the island to hunt. And while it only provides a small amount of meat and chitin, an easy meal is always of value on the island. Unlike nearly every other creature on the island, Akatina does not defecate normally. Instead, it secretes a thick, sticky substance. Akatina leaves trails of this slime, but the trails are so thin that they crumble to dust quickly. Legend has it that Akatina can be tamed with a special cake made from harvested crops among the few carnivores on the island that can match to the Didn't we get a Spinosaurus one already? I feel like we already got Spinosaurus. Like, I feel like we already got that, and then, like, even so, like, how dangerous it was to encounter in the water. No? Am I just, like, thinking I got that? I'm honestly confused. Like, did I? Okay, we got... Got to head out here to the beach, and then there's one on the beach. Okay, let's do this the right way. Three, two, one, boom! Oh, that was probably still too much. I have seen many different and brightly colored sails, 
as every Spinosaurus appears to have a slightly different palette. The one comforting fact about Spinosaurus is that it seems more at home near water than away from it. Although the creature is more powerful, faster, agile, and insatiable than the water, it tends to become less hostile as it gets farther from it. On one occasion, I only escaped a Spinosaurus by getting far enough from its lake home to make it simply lose interest. Spinosaurus is an right, that was the Stegosaurus. Apex carnivore. We got one more. Oh no, we got a couple more. Land, but they're going to be over in, uh, it's like this little lagoon over here. Okay, we're coming up on another one here. There's supposed to be one around here. Also, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just spamming the jump as I run. I hit V again. I'm trying to hit C and I keep on hitting V, and when you hit V, it just takes you into crafting. So... For people that don't know what what that does up oh, there it is i just saw it there you are oh come to papa which dossier are you you are kangaroo prosoptodon procoptodon i think is what we actually call it it is a fairly peaceful herb. Right, and a doss here up over here. It's literally like right up over the Oh my god. It's literally right up over there by where that alpha raptor is. Probably. Oh my luck. It's relatively dry and has little in the way of sticky or oily fluids. I assume this is good for the joey, but I have not figured out exactly why yet. It's other unique feature. Powerful hind legs can knock back aggression much larger in stature. Okay. Prosoptodons show great precision. Get over here. Let's sniff while we're down here. Maybe we can see it. Fail. I've seen them effortlessly no. shoot. from heights that would flatten other creatures. It seems Prosoptodon's knack for carrying things has increased its load-bearing capacity. Prosoptodon's dry pouch makes it an excellent beast of burden that can carry far oh, more no. than any other creatures of its size. Additionally, it appears to provide an optimal environment for nourishing babies, so much that upon maturing, they have even more. There it is. I legit just ran past it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You're not the alpha. Run! Run! No! 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 All right. All we have left is Herbivore Island, and what's in the water, and some other stuff that's over here by this cave. That's on the outside. Oh, run! Also, just realize this. I'm running through the woods towards the direction probably where that alpha was sitting. Let's pull out our map and figure out where we need to start running. Okay. Turn this way. There's another raptor. Ah, uh, was it that Nerva note's actually over here? There it is. Ooh. You can probably hear my dogs going nuts right now because they heard someone knock on the door. So. Sorry about hearing dogs. Oh, okay. You're just red. You're not an alpha raptor. Keep on seeing those dark colored ones and I think that they're the alphas. Like, and they're like right on top of me. I just realized my mic was unmuted. Or was muted. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I just recorded like the last 15 minutes like that. Such a dunce. Oh my god. Okay, it's good. We only like lost 14 minutes. And also I found the cave entrance. I wouldn't mind making this one a base. You know? If we could... You know what I've been thinking? Because I would like a bunch of little bases around. I might get like... Was it those mini... A mini teleporter mod. Just so, like, well, you can have smaller ones, but you know, like, how there's that big t TP platform? We'll definitely have, like, the bigger bases linked up with that. Here we go. 
Alright, we got one more to go, and it should be a dossier. And it's out this way somewhere. There's so many Anomalicarizes. Like, look at them. That's what these little, like, lights are. Those guys will suck you dry. Oh my god, it's so hard trying to find bunkers. Or, like, the underwater caves. I, like, I keep on calling them bunkers, but they're underwater caves. I'm sorry. I keep on doing that. It's not what they're called. This one's around here somewhere. Like, that... This is such a bunker. This... Something's telling me this is the bunker. This rock right here. I don't know what, but... I could be completely wrong. Because I'm not seeing an entrance anywhere. Oh, oh there it is. I was one rock off. This one is... Shoot. Oh my god, I am freezing to death. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm freezing to death. Oh, oh, oh. Let's put the armor back on before we get in the water. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Alright, we got a dossier in here for something? I believe... I, I don't know. I'm just looking at the map. Um, It's in here somewhere. There it is. They blend in. Like, you see how well they blend in? It's the Dilophosaurus. Okay. It stands at just over half the size oh my god. That was so nuts. Um, I don't know what we're going to do now. It's weird. I don't want... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. That should be all the dossier dossiers for this bottom half of the Instead map, of right? Its prey outright, yeah. Its venom to so everything below the 60 line there we got. Because of their shrill cry right? And their ability to attack intruders from rage, no. Well, yeah, somewhat. I'll figure. Size, they are not I'm keep on trying to take this dude up on land like an idiot. But Jesus. I'm tired. I've been going at this for a while. Took me so long. Uh, and I just, I just like legit, from one side of the map to the other underwater, I nearly froze to death on the back of lip. I didn't even realize that. That was so insane. Oh my god. Let's not do that again. Ever. Ever. I don't want to do that ever again. But you know what I do want to do? I want you guys to like and subscribe because it's the end of the video. And you guys know the drill. So yeah. Again, I got my Discord open for everyone. Link in the description. And as usual, if you liked this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. And anyways, this has been Gun Shamore, signing off. Peace.